So today, I'm gonna to show you five ways we can use a swing guide golf training aid to help improve our full golf swing. If you're interested in this, stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, this channel is all about helping you play better golf. And one of the best ways to play better golf is to click on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notification and you're on your way. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the golf doctor, and I've been a golf pro now for 33 years. And in that time, I've seen a lot of training aids come and go. This is one that I've been using fairly consistently for the last 25 years. It's called the Swing Guide. It's an Australian invention. There are some knockoffs around the world. Try and stick to the original of the Swing Guide. So today, as I said, I'm going to show you five different ways that we can utilize this training aid to help with our full swing. So the first one is just the standard Swing Guide training aid. So there's a video that comes with the product when you buy it. It's a DVD and it shows you how to correctly fit it. So we'll assume that you've had it correctly fitted. So when I swing with the swing guide, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get this little swing guide rest here touching my left forearm. So that promotes the proper wrist hinge going back. On the way down, I'm trying to get the club releasing and it should hit on that left forearm in the follow through. So it's left forearm going back and it's left forearm coming through and that shows me and gives me the feeling of what it's like to properly release the golf club. So the second way we can use the swing guide to help us is I can adjust this. So if I wanted to create more swing hinge on the backswing, if that's something that you're trying to achieve, all we do there is we just lower the swing guide down to the bottom of the grip and then we come back in here and now you can see that I'm greater than 90 degrees. So it's enabling me to wrist hinge more and if, I, if that swing guide rest doesn't hit me on the left forearm, I haven't hinged enough. On the way through, it's the same thing. I want to finish with that swing guide rest on my left forearm. And the third way that we can use the swing guide is to create, try and promote less wrist hinge. So I'm just gonna slide the swing guide up a bit on the grip, tighten it up. And my thumbs are just there touching it there. So as I swing the club back, it's less than 90 degrees. So that's stopping me from over hinging. So it's reducing my wrist hinge and then I come through and it's reducing my wrist hinge on both ways. But in both of those circumstances, we want the swing guide rest to hit our left forearm. So the fourth way we can use the swing guide to help with our golf swing is to create what we call lead hand release. So if, in this case, I'm playing golf right-handed, so my lead hand is my left hand, so I try and take that back so it hits me on the left forearm, and then I come through so it gets me on the left forearm. Left forearm to left forearm. If it doesn't, if I don't release, it doesn't hit me on the forearm. So it, I have to release, if I block with my lead, lead forearm, it doesn't, hit me on the wrist with that swing guide rest. So if I just let that left hand release, it works. Now I don't want to disadvantage any of uh, left-handed people out there watching. So I just put it on my club and my right arm is my lead arm for a left-hander. So I want to make sure that I can get that swing guide rest on my right wrist back and through, back and through. So it works in exactly the same way. If I block with my wrist, it doesn't hit me on the forearm. If I release, it hits me perfectly on the forearm. And the final way we can use the swing guide to help with our golf swing is a way that I haven't seen used anywhere else. I think I'm the first person to try it, but I'm happy uh, if someone else has, has done it. I certainly haven't copied them. So what I've done here is instead of putting the swing guide in its normal position, I've tilted it, twisted it over to the right 
just a little bit. So as I look down on that there, that's probably around about 10 to 15 degrees to the right. You can play around with it. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get it so that it promotes my right hand or my trail hand release. So if I swing it back, it hits my uh, right forearm. If I swing it through and I release correctly, it hits my right forearm. So it's right forearm to right forearm. Remember before it was left forearm to left forearm, but I've just twisted the swing guide a little bit just to help me try and practice my release with that. So it goes there and there. So I've never hit a shot with it. I came up with it this morning. We'll just see how it works. Pretty good. I got my swing guide rest just onto my right forearm and that enabled me to release the club. So have you used the swing guide before? I'd love to know what you think. Just put it in the comments below. Thank you for letting me help you play better golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.